When you think of transformations, the first thing that comes to mind is probably that of the ones in Dragon Ball. Some are cool, some are boring, some are wasted, and some are underused. Despite all this, there's one form that I feel is nearly perfect in all categories, and that is Super Saiyan 4. Super Saiyan 4 is a form that was limited in usage to the Dragon Ball GT series, but despite that, was so popular and impactful that it is seen an inclusion in nearly every Dragon Ball game after its release, plus an inclusion in other future Dragon Ball spin-off media. To me, this form is not only memorable to fans, but checks all the boxes for what is a good transformation, especially for what was a non-canon series with an extremely weak start. So in today's video, I will go over exactly what makes this the best form in the entirety of Dragon Ball. When it comes to Super Saiyan 4, it distinguishedly stands out especially among recent forms due to it actually being focused on the Saiyan's existing powers. Super Saiyan 4 is based upon the ability to control the Great Ape's innate strength while transformed into a Super Saiyan. This brings back the focus on the Saiyan's power as well as some of the personality traits Saiyan have, which I'll go into later. To me, this form means the return to the importance of Saiyan origins and bloodline whereas current Dragon Ball forms focus on the powers obtained from gods. God Ki and his concept isn't bad, but I do think the return to a forgotten aspect of the series, the Saiyans being the greatest battle race in the universe, is something very interesting to explore. Seeing the Ozaru be used again is also something nice to see, as like I said, it's something exclusive to the Saiyans that no other race can learn or claim, giving the form a lot of meaning and justice and accessibility. Let's not forget how it's obtained by conquering and calming your mind while in a state Saiyans previously used to purely conquer and destroy. Being able to then use this power with the history of leaving innocents dead and deserted to now save lives is definitely poetic. One of my favorite things with this transformation comes with the personality change, specifically the one we get with Goku. Goku is usually a fighter who is laid back, merciful, and driven by the thrill of the fight. He obviously is very pure of heart, but this makes him clueless and vulnerable in some regard. This changes in a lot of ways when he's in Super Saiyan 4. Goku comes off a lot more menacing, specifically threatening and inducing fear in his opponents in ways Goku hasn't since he first went Super Saiyan. I recall a lot of comebacks and one-liners that were so gritty I couldn't help but be hyped when I heard them. I'll play a few just to show you. I want you to see this. Allow me to be your eyes. I built a fine cemetery. There is parched, lifeless ground for a grave, and broken buildings in the background for a headstone. Now all we need is a dead body, and I can assure you that after all of this is over, I'll give you a nice burial. On top of this, Super Saiyan 4 has been shown to be a lot more cunning, versatile, and even ruthless in some ways. I recall versus Ice Shenron, Goku was fully prepared to kill him, but was convinced otherwise by Nova Shinron. He also was fully prepared to kill baby Vegeta and attempted to despite this meaning Vegeta would die. The same also happens when Pan is captured by one of the dragons. This grittiness and overall more serious tone is extremely cool to see from the usual lighthearted goofball Goku. This also is amplified by the overall appearance of Super Saiyan 4. If there's one thing I think anyone can agree with, is that the overall look of Super Saiyan 4 is peak in terms of Dragon Ball transformations, even that of anime transformations as a whole. The form incorporates the fur of the Great Ape with the blood red coloring. The actual hair on their heads is black instead of changing to gold or red, likely continuing the callbacks to the Saiyan origins and power this form maintains. It is also the only form aside from Ozaru that includes their tails. The aesthetic is very menacing, which gives it an overall badass and serious look that is carried by both the personality change and of course the strength. Little known fact, by the way, Super Saiyan 4 was going to look like this instead. Imagine that. This will likely be the most extensive part of this video, so buckle in. Super Saiyan 4 introduced a lot of familiar and fresh things to the Super Saiyan arsenal. In terms of the most well-known buffs, Super Saiyan 4 comes with between a 32,000 to 40,000 multiplier based on upscaling from Super Saiyan 3 on statements as well as being comparable to Baby's Golden Ape. Some more recent information, however, gives the full power of Super Saiyan 4 Goku a 4 million times multiplier, and I'll link a video to that down below. Check it out, it's pretty good. If you're not interested in calcs, it's stated multiple times that enemies this form compares to or defeats are threats to the universe itself, scaling Super Saiyan 4 Goku directly to that. Super Saiyan 4 also offers a 10 times multiplier to the super version of the Saiyan signature attacks, like the Kamehameha and Final Flash. For context, the Super Kamehameha has the power to destroy a star, so a 10 times multiplier like this will likely put it around large solar system level and attack potency based on my own flawed math. In terms of unique abilities obtained, Super Saiyan 4 can actually adapt in the middle of fights, becoming immune or strong enough to bypass certain hacks if they don't one-shot. 
This becomes apparent when Ice attempts to freeze Goku a second time and he breaks out with ease and states the aforementioned. Super Saiyan 4 can also absorb energy attacks and delay attacks damage. This strength doesn't diminish for time or become underwhelming from power creep either. Super Saiyan 4 remains used throughout the entirety of GT after its introduction, proving its worth and powers as it overpowers and competes with almost every fighter with almost every opponent that it encounters. A lot of modern forms like Super Saiyan Blue are introduced and may win their introduction fight, but are destroyed by power creep in another fight. If you don't believe me, rewatch Super and notice Super Saiyan Blue doesn't technically win a single fight. They in fact lose to Frieza and would have lost if Whis wasn't there. Super Saiyan 4 only loses to threats that are truly obstacles, or I'll scale it, and typically its power is shown to be formidable despite that. All in all, Super Saiyan 4 possesses all the things required to be a great form, but was sadly tied to a series many people hate or have forgotten about. I personally find that if you skip the space filler and watch the arcs after, the show is very enjoyable, and this mainly comes from scenes involving Super Saiyan 4 as well as the fights and amazing quotes. It may be debatable whether it's the strongest or not, but one thing's for sure in my mind, this is the greatest transformation Goku has gotten, right next to Fuse Gogeta, who I will cover in another video. Thank you, the viewer, for getting to the end of this video. If you liked it, make sure you leave a like, comment down below, dislike it, and tell me what you didn't like if you did. Um, I do hope to make more Dragon Ball videos in the future, although it is a slippery slope with how, you know, copyright and things are working nowadays. Despite that, I hope you guys do, you know, look forward to more Dragon Ball content. I do plan on doing a Gogeta video and maybe even a GT retrospective, so keep an eye out. Like I said, subscribe, like the video, comment. And let me know what your favorite form is. See you in the next video. With a pretty bitch that busts from me, gonna shoot out the ceiling. Now who really bout it? Put some ice on your man's and get your team about it. I fall asleep with that stick, I can't be without it. Started with that stove, then we really made it. Keep about it. When that shit comes away, who gonna be about it? Put some ice on your man's and get your team about it. I